Hello, children. This is your mother. Now listen to this. Once upon a time, there was a wily wolf. That's me. A wicked witch. And a ginormous giant. These three villains earned their reputation in a selection of folk tales set in the dark woods, deep lakes, and enchanted castles. Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was Baby Bear, Mother Bear, and Great Big Daddy Bear. They lived in a neat little cottage in the woods, but they were always being harassed by these terrible, grotty neighbors, the Wolf family. The wolves, more or less, owned the whole wood of the state and made life a misery for the quieter residents, holding all-night parties or doing wheelies around the lanes. After a particularly disturbed night, Great Big Bear called his family together. That's it, he said. The wolves have won the day. I'm putting the cottage in the market, dear, and we'll move to a better neighborhood. I had Solihull in mind. And so, with Solihull in mind, they loaded up their cart, and without a backward glance, they headed off to start a new life in the distant Midlands. No sooner were they out of sight than the watching wolf family seized their chance. They could not get through the door fast enough, and what had been a tidy cottage was turned into a pit of slobbish, grotty wolves. Baby Wolf grabbed the baby bed and soon had the walls covered in his favorite footballers and pop stars. Mother Wolf made herself busy in the kitchen piling dirty dishes as high as the ceiling. And the great big wolf set to work in the garden, filling it with oil cans and car bumpers. One morning, Mother Wolf served up three bowls of steaming porridge. You trying to burn the roof for my mouth? So they left the porridge to cool on the table while they went out into the woods to eat a few people. While they were out, an old friend of the bear family called around. She was also called Miss Goldilocks. She did not know the bears had been driven away, so... She was surprised by the mess that surrounded her. She saw three bowls of porridge on the table. She took a mouthful from the tiny bowl. Disgusting! Then she tried some from the mother's dish. Even worse! Finally, she tried the great big wolf's porridge. Oh, delicious, she said. I was beginning to wonder if Mrs. Bear had forgotten how to cook. Next, guess what? She saw three chairs. She sat down in the smallest chair, but it was too small for her ample bottom. Next, she tried the middle-sized chair, 
The right size, but too hard, she said huffily. Really, these bears are letting things slip. Finally, she tried the great big chair. Perfect, she said, but she leant back so far that it toppled over and shattered on the flagstone floor. Goldilocks then went upstairs and saw the three beds. She tried the little bed, but her legs hung out the bottom. Next, she tried Mother's middle-sized bed. Nylon sheets, she said haughtily, as she climbed into the great big wolf's bed. She snuggled down into the soft pillow and was soon fast asleep. Meanwhile, the wolf family were thinking their porridge would be cool. I'm feeling pretty hungry. I would prefer a little billy goat, but mother's porridge will fill the gap. Mother's porridge would fill a hole in a concrete wall, said the baby wolf cheekily. Enough of that, enough of that said the great big wolf, silently agreeing with his son's opinion as they entered the cottage. Some fool's been eating my porridge, remarked the baby wolf. Mine too, said mother disbelievingly. And someone has been at my porridge and eaten it all up. Boy, they must have a stomachache. Next, they turned their attention to the chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair. And someone's been sitting in my chair. And someone's been sitting in my chair, said Great Big Wolf, observing the wreckage of wooden slats on the stone floor. Boy, wait till I get my paws on the person who done this. Next, the family of wolves decided to take an afternoon nap. It was 11 o'clock in the morning, and there was no point in overdoing things. Up the stairs they filed, baby wolf feeding the way. The minute they entered the bedroom, they could tell someone had been in the room. Someone had been sleeping in my bed said Baby Wolf, and someone's been sleeping in my bed, continued Mother Wolf. But what are we here, said the great big wolf. If I'm not mistaken, the person who ate my porridge and broke my chair is sleeping in my bed. Goldilocks sprang from the bed and out of the window and away to safety. Soon after, the three wolves were evicted from the cottage for not paying their council tax and loading up their car, they set off for a new life in Solihull. Mother Wolf patented her porridge as the strongest cement in the world, and a new giant dam in Scotland is held together by it even as I speak. <laughs>